What's up, YouTube? Dave here. Saturday night, we are doing a beer tasting. We have Continental Drift. This is a collaboration brew between uh, Cigar City Brewing out of Tampa and Knee Deep Brewing. I'm not really even sure where they are. It's a West Coast style IPA. Not sure I'm going to dig that. Um, but it's interesting because if you read the description, uh, Conroe Drift is a collaboration between Florida Cigar City and California's Neat Deep. Uh, it says here, for this collab, we wanted to turn this whole continent on its ear and brew a West Coast style IPA in Florida and an East Coast style IPA in, in California. Here's what's unique about it. This beer is unique in that it uses hops processed in four different ways. So it's using hop extract, pellets, whole leaf, and lupulin powder. The lupulin powder, I think, is something new that I've started to see. I actually have one I picked up uh, from Caldera Brewing called Hop Hash. And it creates more hop complexity. Now, I hope this isn't past its prime. I have a brother who lives in Tampa, and he's not a beer guy. And uh, I'll ask him occasionally, hey, can you look and see if you can find this particular beer? And I was looking for one bottle of beer. I was looking for Marshall Zukov's. That's their... Russian Imperial Stout that they come out once a year with, I guess. And um, I'll roll in some footage right here of the box he sent me. Like I said, I asked for one bottle and I re really appreciate it. So he sends me this box. And he just goes to the brewery and he, you know, I guess he was asking for that particular beer and they didn't have it at the brewery, but he was able to find it locally. So he asked if I had tried this. Now I don't see, it's kind of dark here. Um, it's okay. I don't see any date in here, on here. And I'm going to open it with my 50 cal bottle opener. I bought a couple t-shirts from a company called Nine Line Apparel. See how this goes. It's kind of sweet and malty. Yeah, interesting. Dog's thirsty too. I don't know if you can see it. It's definitely a uh, pretty clear yeah I don't think I'm gonna like the uh, and of course it could be my fault for letting it sit I don't have an ABV on here yeah it's definitely just a lot of sweet maltiness and I'm almost getting a little pineapple Something sweet fruit in the back there, but more malt than anything. Hmm. Very slight bitterness up front. It finishes really clean and um, it definitely sweet car caramelly almost malt, a malt like caramel kind of flavor. Yeah, the bitterness is very subtle. Not bad. Um, again, I'm not a huge fan of West Coast stuff, but that's pretty solid. Continental Drift from uh, this bottle, I guess brewed at, uh, brewed a bottle at Cigar City in Tampa. So hope to make it down there one day. Thanks to my brother Duck for uh, sending this up to me. And uh, I'll talk to you cats later.